Hi, okay, so for the first one, tomatoes, corn, sour cream, cheese, lettuce, and guac. Thank you. Cheese, lettuce, and the guac on the side, please. And then, um, lettuce and tomato. Like this? This one? Go, you wanna do the O word? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? <laughs> But he gets like this even if we take him 300 times a day. I know. I get home with him from outside and he's like this. You just love being outside with the peoples. <laughs> so I was gonna go get like a smoothie or something to drink. But honestly at this point I feel like I need some wine. I haven't just gotten like a bottle of wine at home in such a long time. But it's been one of those weeks. I don't know because I'm really picky with my wine like once I open it I can't close it and drink it again So it's like a pity because it's only me drinking it and I'm not gonna finish the whole bottle So I feel like once you close it even if you have like the best decanter or Just like wine stopper. It's just not the same. I kind of I'm in the mood for a red wine Which is really weird. I'm not usually a red wine drinker. I usually like dry wine um, Like a Chardonnay white wine. I actually do like I think it's Sauvignon Blanc. We'll see. I have Coco, so I don't know if they're gonna let me into the liquor store. Maybe. He's pretty cool. Come on, buddy. But yeah, we'll see what happens. It's Friday night, and I feel like I need some wine. Like, tell me Coco isn't the cutest dog you've ever seen. Coco's such a handsome little baby. Everyone stares at him when we walk. I wish I could go in the supermarket with him. It's a little too much, huh? <laughs> they don't even let him in Rite Aid. Or Dwayne Reed. Sometimes I, I sneak him in. <laughs> One time I put him inside of my jacket. Poor baby, he was all hot in there. <laughs> Alright, let's see if they let us in Coco in the wine store. It's New Zealand? Yeah. New Zealand. New Zealand. Those two? Yeah. Okay. That one too? Mm. Okay, thank you. I guess we'll try this one. Clifford Bay? I don't know. I usually like, it's called uh, Matua. They don't seem to have it. You think they have one that's cold? I think they do. Oh, they do have it. Okay. It's gonna get one. Yes. Live long. Live long? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Yeah, he's 11. Yeah, almost 1921. Really? Yeah. How you know? More dog. Oh, yeah. The guy said Coco will live long because he's a little dog. <laughs> he said he would last 19 years. I mean, he's already 11, so I don't doubt it, but I wish Coco would be with me forever and ever. Come on. Coco's my first love ever. <laughs> Look at his little man. Guy. How could you not love him? And his ears flop in the wind. Come on, let's go. Let's go. You see him running? Where's he running to, buddy? What do you see? Every time I try to put little shoes on him, he takes them off. So, I don't know what he's running for, though. He must smell a dog. Oh, okay. So, I'm currently packing up the items that I sold on my Poshmark. So, I'm just writing like personalized notes. Thank you notes, and I had little glitters, and I add like a little makeup goodie. How cute is this bent too? Super glam, and I got my wine. So I ordered three of my favorite leggings from Aritzia. I'm a sucker for black leggings. Like I love the Zella ones from Nordstrom. Um, I still wear sometimes the pink ones. I wear Adidas, Nike, but these are so freaking comfortable. And look how cute it comes in this little 
bag. So they're just regular black leggings, but they're super soft. They're called the Equator. And these are only $22. So really good price. And they have different colored ones. They have ones with like purple on the back or pink. I get the all black because that's my style. I like all black. So I just picked up three of them. And I think they were actually on sale for like $19. So a little bit cheaper than the $22, but they're still cheap at 22. I also have these two camo ones from Maurizio, which I really like. I just love the quality of them. They're really soft and comfortable, so that's why like, I have to fix this jar. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that these are my favorite leggings at the moment. So I'm watching my girl Ivana, Ivana Cora. I love her vlogs. I love her beauty videos. I love her vlogs. Go support her. I love her channel. Um, she's a Floridian, and yeah, I love her. I love her personality. But I wanted to share with you guys, there's literally no better feeling than a brand new MAC travel bag. Like, it just looks so fresh and so clean and neat and a fresh tool belt like oh the tight like the tightness in it like literally makes me so happy because you know it starts getting like a little bit loose i'm about to call it a night after i head to the gym it's one o'clock in the morning right now and i'm getting picked up at 11 30 to do two clients gotta pack one more thing okay <laughs> i gotta pack my bags and my ziplocs okay brb well actually no i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> bye a quick little video Hey guys, so I'm in an Uber. It is, today is Saturday, and I'm on my way to go do a client's makeup. It's actually a trial, but it's snowing. It looks like it's raining from this, but it's snowing pretty bad. I don't know, you guys can't really see it, but basically, when it snows in New York, people don't know how to act. I had three Ubers cancel on me. The last one really ticked me off because I was leaving outside in the snow with my bags. And I see him there and I'm calling him. I'm walking towards him and he cancels the ride, hangs up on me and drives off super fast. Seeing me with my bags in the snow, getting soaking wet. Like, what kind of person are you? Anyway, I finally got another Uber. There's construction all over my house too, so this Uber had to go around and it's been a mess. I'm late and I hate being late and it's just, it's just snowing pretty bad and there go. Point is, I gotta take a joke though because I just get stressed out when I'm running late. I just don't like people waiting on me. It's very unprofessional. I left on time, but literally like, I'm telling you, New York, is, uh, is, is stops when it starts snowing even though we've been through this so many times already like i know people have to drive a little bit slower but the exaggeration like i'm telling you we've got this every year year after year it's not like black eyes on the floor you know what i mean so anyway um after that my other appointment had to cancel because her event was canceled so she had to reschedule so basically i'm gonna go home and take a nap and then eat something and then wash my hair again even though I washed last night it got wet with the snow and I feel like the snow is dirty I don't know and then do my hair and then film some videos it'll be a snow day in oh I have the bottle of wine from yesterday too which is good which is really good even though I don't like drinking wine that's been open one day I'll do it but yeah I even have a Red Bull I was outside in the snow with a Red Bull I needed it guys I was so tired I stayed up late um, packaging things oh I gotta go to the post office let's see if I make it by 3 it's 11 19 the makeup should take an hour and 15 and come back and but now they're gonna get all wet the packages I'll probably mail them Monday so yeah it's probably what I'm doing. the streets are empty I'll see you guys later on today Hey guys, so I'm on my way to get some ice cream and I'm gonna get my mom something to eat. And it's so, <laughs> what a fail. The ice has to be a little bit harder for you to throw a snowball at me. He's lucky I don't have gloves. If not, I would have hit him back but I'm not trying to get wet. But yeah, I have a client at 8 a.m. It's actually like a one-on-one -on -one lesson slash makeup because she's actually going out after so like she's gonna do half her face i'm gonna do the other half and teach her and it's a two-hour class and then i'll basically like fix anything on the other side you get me like if i need to because she's actually going out for her friend's birthday I actually did both of their makeups like two weeks ago they looked bomb for a wedding so they're they're back the second girl that's coming stephanie it's her birthday 
so yeah it's slushy it's already slushy oh it just got in my shoe how i have tims on and i still get it in my shoe that's the worst also when you feel like you have your life together but your sock is slowly falling off your foot so yeah that's me right now if you guys want to know more about me you know get to know me more as you guys say i love looking up things on like weather modification chemtrails um geo i think it's called geo engineering and all that so i always go on instagram and i really like following bob well i don't follow him but i like going on his page he has some really interesting stuff some of it is a little crazy but it's nice to know you know look into it and basically i've been looking into a lot of like the chemtrails customer service needed in the cosmetic department <laughs> basically i've been looking into how they are poisoning us and making us sick with what they're spraying in the sky like just look up and look up at the sky tomorrow the next day and just look at how crazy it looks how fake everything looks and look at all the sprays that they're doing with the chemtrails i mean i don't know i feel like it's a coincidence that everyone's getting super sick and everyone's like having all these issues and they're doing that this kind of like the um master cleanse see water maple syrup and lemon what is this caramel cookie crunch I wanted to get one of these kombucha. Hmm. I've never had kombucha. Cosmic cranberry. I just don't know which one to get. Suja. Let me see. Organic apple. Banana orange. Pineapple. I got the tins on. I never wear them, so I'm wearing them for for uh the snow all black everything i'm so new york this is the one i'm going back to grabbing one of these oh they have the new lashes cool so they actually had these lights up since the summertime <laughs> but finally it goes it looks nice Christmas lights on the trees with the crisp with the snow. Looks very pretty. But they did have them up way before, and every time I would come down here on an Uber, they'd be like, oh, you guys are celebrating early? But yeah, we are. They didn't have banana. I'm so upset. But I only wanted one scoop, and I wanted banana. But he put two scoops and whipped cream. I don't know what kind of whipped cream that is. I'm the only crazy who eats ice cream when it's freaking cold out and snowy. But it's actually really not cold out. Maybe it's my coat, but... Are you cold? No, oh, I got this beautiful coat on. <laughs> anyway, what? ice cream time. Day of Oprah's chocolates. They're so delicious. You know, like that. Anyway. Start off like that. Go. And action. Just got these chocolates in from Oprah Cosmetics. Thank you so much. These are from Harry and David. Super cute. Thank you so much. I don't even want to open it. This presentation is so nice. Thank you. So on Target, I picked up these Honest Wipes. These are plant-based, hypoallergenic. So fun fact, I'm allergic to formaldehyde, which I found out is in most wipes, um, like baby wipes, which is terrible, absolutely terrible. So it actually gives me like eczema. Um, so I got these because they're biodegradable, plant-based, no harsh chemicals. So I got the big pack, 576 fragrance-free. So not only if you have a baby, but just for yourself, like if you want something more natural, honest wipes. They also have like, they sell like water wipes. I used one pack from Amazon, like I had bought a box. And they were nice, but I just feel like it's more convenient to get these at Target. So they look like this. And these are the reusable packs. So we are stocked up with baby wipes. And if you don't have baby wipes in your house, I'm totally judging you. You need to have baby wipes at all times. Just saying. So I'm at my favorite, one of my favorite brunch spots. Oh, I thought that was salami for a second. I'm a little buzzed. <laughs> I'm having this banging ass mango uh, mimosa. It's my second one, it's so good. But this is what I get, it's Dominican breakfast and instead of salami, I substituted for avocado. Ooh, pancakes and bacon. Anything else I can get you at the moment? Uh, we're okay. Thank you. Hello, my beautiful people. So it is Sunday night, and before I end this vlog, I wanted to just thank each and every one of you from the 
bottomest of my heart for commenting on my last vlog it honestly like warmed my whole being like you don't know how happy i got with you guys talking about what you love about yourselves and how positive everyone was being and it was just such a nice refreshing moment to not read like negative comments and just to read like positivity i just i really loved hearing everyone's story a lot of you guys commented and it breaks my heart to not have every single one of you win because trust me if i had I don't know how many people commented, but if I had 300 or whatever of these Bobby Brown sets, I would send each and every one of you it. I'm telling you, I just don't have that right now. But I just wanted to really, really say thank you because I felt like I really got to know you guys. So many of you are moms and are just like killing it, like just boss babes. A lot of you guys are in school. Like I feel like I have subscribers from all around the world, different walks of life, different stages in their lives. You know, some of you mentioned you know things that you love about yourself physically like your eyes and then other of you are mentioning you know how you love that you're patient or that you're a good person and i just i really loved hearing it um because like i said it's really rare for someone to really sit down and just praise themselves and say i love you and i think we should all do that every single day is just say hey i love you i will i love me <laughs> and i love me for being strong i love me for being weak and i love my process i love my journey and i love uh, my faith and I have faith in myself and in my life so I just really wanted to mention to you guys that I loved it like I wish that can happen in every single video just have you guys like be so positive and kind to yourselves because it's one thing like me reading negative comments on myself I'm used to it I'm numb to it at this point but when I see people being mean to each other it's really what hurts me and ticks me off like I don't like seeing you guys fight with each other so see you guys all just being like hey like i love this and i love that like i enjoyed it so i hope you guys you know really like i know it's just a comment but i really hope you take that with you and like maybe practice you know every day if you can every night or every time you wake up just be grateful for what you have and physically non-physical just be grateful for everything so i just wanted to just spread that for you guys but I know you guys are waiting for the winners. So the first winner is Megan R. She said, your amazing roles and your true supporters will always be here cheering you on. I love my kind heart and giving spirit. I never hesitate to think about others, whether big or small, it makes me happy. Don't be discouraged, this is still a platform for you to reach many. So you are the first winner. And then my second winner, I wanted to pick two. So um, I have this prize that I showed you guys. It's full of makeup, Bobbi Brown makeup, but I also have this one. So this is a like lipstick set and it's really cute because each lipstick is like this really pretty gold packaging so i couldn't just have one like i really wanted to have five but don't be discouraged if you didn't win because i will be doing more secret little mini giveaways in these vlogs i don't like to like i'm not gonna be announcing like in the title as much like giveaway like maybe once in a while but i i think it's more valuable when someone actually watches the video and like it's like a secret you know like it's it's mixed in there because then i know you're watching for the right reasons and not just because it's a giveaway i am working with ebates on a haul for this week and it's gonna have a giveaway so that one will have a sephora gift card giveaway but i am gonna be doing like makeup giveaways here in my vlogs anyway the second winner is britney souls she says what i love about myself is the fact that i always try to see the positive in things as i've gotten older i've learned that things happen for a reason we may not understand it at the time but in due time the reason will come to light your idea was awesome what do you love about yourself you are definitely right we don't take time to ask ourselves that question it's usually what we don't like about ourselves that are always answers our mind thank you i look forward to your polls keep them up and they aren't boring it's just authentic with your viewers and i really liked you know her answer you both are so gorgeous thank you for commenting so please message me whether it's on instagram snapchat email me or i will somehow figure out how to contact you but yeah i just wanted to end this on a really positive note and i'm not discouraged because i have faith in god and i know like i kind of want to like make that other video that i did kind of like not private but like maybe disable the comments i genuinely don't feel like lost you know what i mean like i don't feel like depressed or anything i just wanted to raise awareness of the fact that some people are gaining followers maybe for the wrong reasons um but i'm no one to judge but you know when people like cheat the game and do things like unethically like that's kind of where i was going towards like i'm here just slow and steady wins the race and i'm okay with that but i just wanted to bring it to your attention because i do get so many comments saying rose did you notice like you're not growing but Honestly, this whole time, I've never really looked at the number because I feel like when you do that, that's when you don't grow. I just wanted to raise awareness that day and I was just in my feelings, but 
I love my journey. I love my channel. I don't care if it's one person watching. I have 261,000 subscribers that I love so much and that support me and are here with me. So even if you are all not watching my video, I get like, let's say 10,000 views on a video. That's still so many people who are watching me. Like, it's crazy. And I totally never, never go a day without appreciating you guys. I didn't want it to come off that way. I guess sometimes when I, I start rambling, like it seems that way, but I'm telling you, everything's all good. We got this, we got this. I'm going to represent for my New Yorkers. I'm going to represent for just being a woman. I'm going to represent for being Latina, for being mixed, for just a bunch of things, you know? So, don't worry, we got this. So yeah, that's it. That's where I'm going to end this video. I just finished taking a shower. Hair is super wet. It is actually early at 7, but I want to make sure this video goes up. I'm going to eat something and uh, call it a night. Probably watch some TV. I don't really watch too much TV, but kind of in the mood to watch some TV. And then tomorrow we have errands to run. So Monday is... I like Mondays personally because I feel like it's a fresh start to the week. I can... Like, if you think of Mondays like, oh, drag, what a drag, like back to work, back to school... Think of it like in another way, like try to like switch your perspective as like this week I'm gonna kill it, like this week I'm gonna wear my makeup bomb every day or this week I'm gonna treat myself to something every day or work harder towards my goals, like look at it as like always like a fresh start, I don't know, that's how I look at it. So I'm excited for this week to come and get things done, get some work done. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Well that was a good kiss.